Okay, so I'm gonna give you a quick overview of how I set it up and how I organize my space. So my desk, it is in the living room area, so I'm right by the window. And yeah, so let's start from the bottom. I got this rug, obviously just because every time I tuck in and tuck out my chair, I just didn't want it to scratch the floor. I got this rug in Ikea and on here the corner i just have like this basket that i've had for a while and i just keep like some pr packages that i have yet to open and shoot and then i got some magazines over there and this chair it's like a swivel chair brown leather i got this in home goods so sadly i won't be able to link it but i'll try to look for something similar the desk that I have, I believe it's called the Mickey. I'll make sure to link it down below and put the name up here on the screen. But I got this in Ikea and I chose it because I didn't really need an extremely big desk. But I like that this was more 
wide and the only thing that mattered to me were the drawers so yeah the, basically that is my desk it's from ikea this was pretty affordable as well and okay starting from the left side of my desk we have a little mirror here this is from plate pillows i'll make sure to link their stuff below this tray it's also from them from plate pillows i usually just put like my rings or my necklaces if i take them out um when i'm at home so i just leave them there it also serves as a coaster which is super helpful and a cute way to kind of just have a nice coaster on your desk and this print i just wanted something very minimal and neutral and this is from Desenio. both the frame and the print is from Desenio. so i got the new 24 inch macbook i was recently just using a laptop which is perfectly fine too but just for the amount of hours that i'm spending on the computer nowadays i just wanted to invest in a bigger screen bigger desktop and it came with like the magic keyboard and i think it came with this one yeah I upgraded it so I could get the magic mouse and I used this trackpad mouse thing for editing videos. Um, I just find that it's much better for that. But if I'm just regularly scrolling through the internet and stuff like that, I like to use the regular mouse. So I have that over here. This is, what would you call this? Like a weekly notepad, I guess. I've been really enjoying it so far. It's like a downsized version of a planner, just so it's literally like right in front of my face. This desk mat is super cool. It's from Orbit Key. It's just this nice bone color. So again, like this whole desk area, I just wanted it to be very neutral, like two layers. And in this corner, it's obviously used for if you want to put some accessories like your airpods or stuff like that so i usually just leave my apple pencil that i use for my ipad and this comes with a desk mat too it's like a magnet and usually how you would use it is if you had like your cords you could slip them through here and they would hold you know your cords in place but i just haven't really used it for that purpose just yet and over here on this corner we have my phone stand i just got this phone stand from amazon um, i just like having my phone on a phone stand so that i could easily um, use it or access it even if it's charging and even if i'm using my computer so i really like that i have the sticky i don't know really know what it's called but i guess it's the cable management sticky thing so i just put it um at the end of my desk i just got white again because i just wanted everything to look as neutral as possible and i just have all my main plugs or chargers here i got this little hourglass thing from ikea i don't really use it but at the moment i felt like it was cute <laughs> um over here i got my desk lamp so this one is from amazon too and it's very simple what i like about it though is that you can change the brightness you could change the tint like if you wanted yellow light or white light um, and all that kind of stuff so it's really helpful and that's basically why i got it and over here in this corner i got this like rattan book organizer and i just keep my like my planners, my notebooks that I use basically like for content creation, just all my ideas, they're all filed away in this book organizer thing. And over here, I just have another one of these notepads that I like to keep in handy. And I like this one because it's lengthwise, like it's long. So it's great for writing out shopping lists or a lot of stuff to do. I'll kind of just like rip it off and take it with me in my bag if I need it. And I got this one at Anthropology, And I just thought it was like really cute and pretty with the design on the side. This one as well, I forgot to say that I got this at Anthropology, And they were all on sale. They have a lot of really good stuff in Anthropology for like home office setup stuff. And here on the right side, I just propped up a full-size mirror so this used to be in our bedroom but again like now i 
try to take as much content as I can, even indoors. So since I'm right by the window, I just liked that there was a mirror here. Plus it opens the space up more. So sometimes I take my stories, IG hauls, stuff over here. And I got this mirror at Home Goods, I believe. Yeah, I got this mirror at Home Goods. But let me show you how I organized my drawers. So this first drawer, the one on the left, I have this IKEA drawer organizer. It's just a plain white one and it's pretty wide. So basically where I keep all of like my office tools. So I just have all my pens here that I use for like my planners and a bunch of scissors, my cutters. I have some measuring tape. I got post-its, sticky tabs. I got, um, what are these? Like ponytails for when I need them. These are my cords for some of my older hard drives. Back here, what do I have back here? Oh, it's just like an extra wallet or like my coin purse. I have all my like skincare, well, not skincare, but just like hand lotion and my lip scrubs and stuff like that that I always need by me. And yeah, in this corner, I just have all my extra charging cables cables for my hard drives so i recently invested in another hard drive so that i could keep my personal and content related like photos and videos separate from each other um yeah so i just have those and then i got my adapter where i plug in my memory card to obviously transfer my stuff to the computer and here i got like my keys the wallet that I use every day. And then here at the back, I just have my phone cases. And then in this next drawer, keep more tech stuff. So here, usually at the very top, I'll just keep whatever book I'm reading at the moment. So right now I've been reading The Wife Between Us. And I just got my iPad and under there, it's just like an extra notebook, the small tripods i got there in the back and then this organizer divider thing is also from ikea and i just chose this material just to make sure it doesn't scratch any of my tech so usually i'll have my vlog camera here and my apple watch at the back i have this case for all my memory cards which is pretty cool it's also from amazon i'll link this down below and I just have extra batteries here at the back. This next one is all my external chargers for like my iPhone and my iPad. We got my AirPods and anything like earphone related. At the back, I have my Bluetooth remotes and just some accessories that I use with my tripod. And then this corner is all of my camera battery chargers. But yeah, I think that is it for my work desk setup video um i'm pretty happy with how everything turned out and i wanted it to be pretty minimal because again i don't really need this space for my everyday work life it's really more for content creation and social media um, which is just like a serious hobby that i'm doing so very happy with how everything turned out i feel much more productive in this space um, compared to my smaller desk before. My new MacBook computer has been really nice and helpful, especially when editing YouTube videos. So I'm really thankful for that. And yeah, I'm sure as time passes, things will evolve, things will change out. But for now, this is really how I wanted my setup to be. And I think I did a pretty good job with staying in a good budget. I feel like I didn't really splurge on anything other than like the computer, obviously. But yeah, everything was pretty affordable. So I'll make sure to link everything down below. And I hope to see you next week on my next vlog. And yeah, I'll just see you then. Bye.